in this video we learn about bounded sequence and also we learn a theorem which tells us that convergent sequence are bounded so boundedness is one of the properties of a convergent sequence so what is a bounded sequence a sequence of real number is called bounded if there exists a real number m which is positive such that all the term absolute value of any term should be less than m for all n belongs to natural number and the definition is very intuitive or what it says bounded means limited somehow restricted so the magnitude of each term is restricted by this m and if we can find such a m then we say that the sequence is bounded suppose you have zero somewhere and a sequence suppose you have a sequence terms of a sequence and we say that the sequence is bounded if you can make a circle of radius m such that all the terms x say x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 all the term and so on lies inside this circle if we can find such m we say that the sequence is bounded now let's see some example consider the sequence 1 by n we can say that 1 by n is actually less than equal to 1 for all n belongs to natural number so this sequence is bounded also if you draw the sequence then the first term will be 1 second term will be half this is second term 1 by third third term will be 1 by 3 this will be x3 and so on and this is 0 and, and you can make a circle of large radius which implies that the sequence is bounded we know that this sequence is actually convergent but now we will look at a sequence which is not convergent but bounded we know that this sequence is not convergent but minus 1 to the power n is bounded by 1 so this is also a bounded sequence and on line we can draw this is 0 this is 1 this is minus 1 and if we take a circle of enough radius greater than 1 or equal to then we can see that all the terms lies inside the circle so this is bounded on the other hand if you draw the natural number itself sequence of natural number itself then it will be 0 1 2 3 4 and dot 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 and no matter how large you make a circle you will always find a natural number greater than so this sequence is actually not bounded now we'll see a theorem which says that a convergent sequence of real numbers is bounded so if you have a convergent sequence then we are sure that it will be bounded why this should happen suppose you have a convergent sequence what it means we know that if you suppose its limit is somewhere its limit is l and if you draw a circle of epsilon then we know that all the terms except few say x1 x2 x3 and so on except some term maybe x4 can be inside x5 can be inside but again x6 can be outside but there will be an n such that after this term this xn after this xn all the terms will be inside this circle so we have to compare the modulus of this this and finite number of terms and this circle so if we compare the if we take the maximum of mod x1 mod x2 and so on up to xn and for all this infinite number of element 
goes inside this circle, we take simply mod L plus 1. Since there are there are only finite number of element here, if we take maximum of this, then this will be M, and we can see that all the terms will be bounded by this number N for all M. And this is the idea of the proof. Let Xn be a sequence of real number which converges to X. It means that for all epsilon, so here we choose a epsilon, then for epsilon equal to 1 we get a natural number there exists some natural number belongs to n such that such that all the terms xn minus x less than epsilon for all n greater than n so and here epsilon is 1 so we can write it as xn minus x less than 1 and we can further write it as xn less than equal to x plus 1 and this is less than equal to x minus 1 so we can say that mod xn is less than sorry mod x plus 1 this is true for all n greater than n now we take consider the maximum m be the maximum of mod x1 mod x2 dot 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 up to mod x capital n and for all rest of the term we need just this number mod x plus 1 and we can see that we can see that combining this and all this term here we can say that xn less than equal to m hence xn is bounded now we know that the sequence can of natural number that is 1 2 3 4 and so on is not bounded so it is not convergent assume that if you want to prove this by contradiction assume that this sequence is convergent if this is convergent then we know that it is bounded but set of natural number is not bounded so our assumption is wrong it implies that the sequence of natural number is not convergent